Hey y'all, it's Cooperton Critics. I'm here to review the film Samurai Cop from 1991, directed by Amir uh, Sharan. It stars uh, Matt Haman as Joe Marshall, the Samurai Cop. Uh, Mark Fraser plays uh, Frank Washington. Uh, Robert Dazar, rest in peace, he, play, he played Yamasita. Uh, Melissa Moore plays Peggy, uh, who is another, another police officer. Uh, Gerald Okamura plays Okamura. Uh, Cranston uh, Kamuro plays Fujiyama. And Janice uh, Farley plays Jennifer. Now, there's no big names. Uh, they've been in like a lot of like small cult films, you know, B movies. And good lord, is this a B movie? You know, let me take it down and see, because this movie is fucking ridiculous. It, it is lovably retarded. Um, like, I don't think anybody goes to see this movie, you know knowing what it is wanting a great story great action they just want to laugh at how bad it is i can't, I can't imagine anybody like really enjoying it for you know taking it seriously so let's start with main character sam Markov himself joe uh he wears a really terrible wig and he is pretty chauvinist. Uh, he's always uh, getting lazy ladies, even though he's supposed to be tied to one in the beginning. Uh, he is a no-nonsense police officer that, for some reason, has samurai sword skills and will whoop your ass uh, with no arrest warrant, uh, nothing like that. He has a black partner he's not sassy in like the way you're thinking like a lot of black sidekicks are for police officers in film uh he just makes a lot of weird type of smiles uh at you know his sexual advances to women uh when in the parading he tells a lot of crappy jokes they exchange a lot of crappy jokes there's a lot of jokes associated with him being black none of them are actually good you can laugh at how bad they are, but they're they're not generally ever good. You know, they they take cheap routes of you know penis size and being charred black. That's like what? If you're gonna do that, you, you you gotta come clever with it because otherwise it just seems just sad. Um. Now the whole plot of this film is that. There's Japanese drug rings, you know, gangster type shit uh, in the LA area. And uh, Joe Marshall, you know, and his, you know, his buddy cop, Frank Washington, are supposed to be solving, uh, you know, how to fix this, uh, how to prevent drugs to getting to the kids, I guess. And their way of doing that is not by interrogating anybody, not having real procedures just finding them kicking their ass killing their goons you know like a real cop does um, <laughs> uh, now I mentioned that you know Joe Marshall is a bit chauvinist uh, I think part of that is because just of the story overall because every woman has no personality and either they are a means to an end for the plot or they are you know just you know it's a sexy girl that's you know in the movie you know someone for our hero to fuck and he's a, he's a lame excuse for a hero like you know he he i mean he means well to help but just his his tactics and his mindset are all over the fucking place. He's he's not his character is like non-existent other than he is a physical person that does something in the plot. Uh, but even though I, I'm railing against you know how 
bad the storytelling is, I, I would not lie that I laughed several times, especially with the overacting, the underacting, misdirection uh, from scene to scene. This is one of the worst edited movies I've ever seen in my fucking life. It might be the worst I've ever seen. It is horrible. Like, you know, we'll be in, you know, a chase or, you know, he'll be uh, being shot at by gangsters and it's supposed to be, you know, you know, have the tension. It's supposed to be like, oh, look, this is awesome. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen? Uh, he just shows up like in front of a school and uh, picks this chick, uh, I think Jennifer, up and they have a date and then he gives her a birthday cake, uh, like wearing like a really tight thong on his, like, you know, roided out body. I'm just like, what? 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 I'm like, we don't even see how that ends. We just... Oh, so well, he's the badass. He, he defeated him. I'm like, no, we would have liked this. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, sh show and tell. But at the same time, you know, if you, if you show me, maybe I'll laugh more just how terrible it is. But if you're going for how actual story should go in a film, you should show that. You shouldn't just snap. Like there's there's a scene where, uh, you know, I think it's the men of. Uh, Yukimura. Uh, no, Fujiyama. Fujiyama's men go to attack Frank Washington, uh, him coming out of a shower, and they like threaten to take off his penis or shoot him or whatever. And, you know, it, it just ends quickly. Now, not in a good transition, just he's threatened, he pulls a gun, and then we bump over to Joe Marshall, the samurai cop himself, uh, like in a pool, or like, uh, fucking this, this chick Jennifer, uh, and by the way, there's like three or four sex scenes in this movie, each one of them, like, lasts around a minute, uh, and they are incredibly, like, boring, <laughs> just like, you know, someone that can talently shoot, you know, sex in a film, whether it's, you know, like a film released in theaters or it's pornography, they can make it, you know, at least exciting. Like, in, not necessarily if you are, you know, attracted to whatever you're seeing, but just have a little flair, you know, have something interesting, not just have, you know, boring music, barely anything happening, and just, like, no felt chemistry. It just, it, it kind of felt more like how a teacher describes sex to sex ed school. It's just like, there's nothing sexy about it. It's more clinical than anything. Uh, and trust me, it's not smart, this movie is not smart enough to describe something clinical. Believe you me, because there's a man in the beginning of the movie who ends up in flames and the nurse in uh, the hospital who's taking care of him tells Samurai Cop and uh, Frank, his friend, that he, his, he's so badly burned that his lips are burned together and he can't speak. Now, the whole thing from uh, Okamura and Fujiyama, who are the big uh, Japanese uh, mafia heads in this area, they're like, well, you gotta kill them before they can say anything. So I'm thinking to myself, if his lips are burned together and he can't speak, why do you have to go out to kill him? But, you know, Eric, you know, that's that's a dumb fucking question. You know, it, it, it moves plot, you know, we gotta have some tension. <laughs> uh, because uh, this this trick with red hair and this other guy, uh, Yamashita, go to kill him with a katana at the hospital. They just got, go over to his bed where he's like covered in cast, just stuck and shit, and they just like cut his throat. And he starts screaming because now he can open his mouth. I remember the nurse saying that her fucking lips are burnt together. Why is he able to... Oh my god. 
Why is he able to open his mouth? It, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, even though this movie came out uh, in the early 90s, it, it doesn't feel 90s at all. It feels extremely 80s. There's a, you know, the aesthetic, the editing, uh, the music. Uh, the music, okay, the music, you know, it's... It could be 90s video games. It kind of sounds like uh, Double Dragon uh, Hidden Toad uh, in, in some scenes, especially uh, towards the end. But it, it is wholly ridiculous. It, it is, in many parts, it is just beautiful how how wretched it can get. How, how lazy and like probably one of the most laziest things in this movie is when Yamashita and Joe Marshall fight with Katanas. They're like, oh, finally we can get, you know, what the title promises. That we want a samurai cop doing samurai shit. Because there's only, like, one scene where he chops a guy's arm off. And that lasts, like, a few seconds. But now we get to see, you know, the dra drag-out fight. So, they swing swords. And, you know, it's not like the swords look like, you know, kids' toys. They look like swords, so good on them. Uh, but, while they're swinging at each other, you can notice that th their hitting of the blades is sped up because they're so worried about hitting each other or, you know, th they're, they don't want to do anything that's strenuous. Whatever the case is, they just speed it up and act like we don't notice because they'll speed it up regular speed speed it up regular speed while in between of them s s uh, swinging their swords at each other and like it's just like oh my fucking god uh, another atrocious thing about this movie is the ADR you know the sound editing you know minus the you know upbeat uh, popish techno type, you know, uh, wham wham uh, type music. Uh, the, the the editing for when people are speaking and different shots, it, it is horrifically hilarious. Uh, even like when gangsters are shooting their guns, the the sound of the gun will end even though they're still shooting, even though you can still see the sparks of the bullet being fired, the sound ends before it's even over. Uh, the dialogue. Uh, so I already mentioned, you know, charcoal black and uh, shit like that. Uh, you know, you're talking about the black guy's penis because, oh, her, her, black guy has big penis. Like, uh, can we... Uh, can we do something funny with that? But at the same time, if we didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to laugh at how terrible it is. Um, the, the nurse says to, right next to a burnt, burnt fucking body, just talking to Joe Marshall, saying, oh, do you want to fuck me? And that whole exchange, and eventually it comes to if Joe Marshall has had a circumcision, just like the hell am I watching? Uh, now, one character I uh, do really enjoy. Uh, and of course, it's an ironic sense, and that is the captain of this police force. Uh, his name is Captain uh, Romer. He has some of the best lines they are all terrible in their own way, but I don't know if I'm really laughing at what he's saying or how he says it. Either way, he's he's hilarious. Just like no nonsense, '80s. You know what? What do you expect? Uh, you know so much. I'm trying not to say cliche because I'm a firm believer in film that if you do it right if you present it well no matter you if you see in other films 
it shouldn't matter because this is a movie and it should be able to stick on its own legs. Uh, you, you shouldn't say that it's bad because you see similarities to another film just because it's older. Like, at a certain point, you know, we're just gonna start hating movies in, uh, you know, now. And once we see another movie, it's like, oh, it's just like that one. Like, just fucking stop with that shit. Anyway, uh, th there's no character development in anybody. Uh, there's a weird lion's head uh, that's like shoved in into uh, like a little room. It, it, it's really off putting, it does not fit. <laughs> um, Dialogue's terrible, boring sex, black jokes, uh, just so much is wrong. But if you're gonna do something wrong, do something wrong right. And they did wrong right very well. Not good enough for me to give it an ironic A, but I do give it an ironic B plus. Uh, it's actually a fucking E because just if I couldn't, if I got to see this and I had to see it in totally, you know, serious fashion, I couldn't laugh, I couldn't have fun with it, and, you know, I was just observing it objectively, this movie is really bad. Uh, lighting is terrible, uh, a lot of the framing is bad. Once again, if, if you see this movie, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna notice the editing. Some movies... You know they move fluid enough that you really don't think about it this you constantly think about it and you can't think about anything else uh, other than the shoehorn you know putting titties in frame just like oh let's have it in here cuz the audience will like that um, it, it doesn't fit uh, they, they try to be sexy I mean the, the women in here are beautiful but it, it, it does not fit like, you're trying to fit a block into a circle hole, it will not fit. Uh, you know, go see, so see the movie if you uh, can appreciate bad movies. Part of the Crypto Critics, you know I love you. And, once again, that here is beautiful.